Hey peeps! Guess where we're at? <laughs> Come on. We're in Neiman's. <laughs> Basically. You know, I designed my closet to be after a Neiman's store because I am a Neiman's girl. So, if sometimes you think it resembles a small boutique hotel, that's why. So, um, so we've done an Instagram Live and we've asked quite a few people on Instagram Live what they want to see in the closet. So, one of your suggestions was my purse collection. So, we're gonna kind of start over on this side because this is kind of my Chanel side. So sometimes I go, this is all the Chanel I have because I'm just not a big Chanel girl. But then I forget, fab, that that area over there <laughs> is almost all Chanel too. Oh my Remember? God, I forget about that part. I know, so I sit here and I look at all these Chanel bags and I'm like, oh, I'm not really a Chanel girl. I'm more of a Birkin girl. This is all the Chanel I have. It's just this little corner. But then I go over there and I look and you're gonna probably see when we go up there. But you go up there and look and, sorry, my shoes are squeaking. This whole, most this whole corner is Chanel too. Cause I've got the Chanel Legos, right? I mean, like, how cute is this one? This is just for fun. Like, it's just so freaking cute. It looks Love. like a looks like a roller bag, right? <laughs> it is so much. I've never even carried it yet, but I had to have it. It was so cute. And this whole shelf is Chanel. Look, the Chanel bottle, the perfume bottle. We threw a couple YSL in here. But for most part, this is all Chanel too. Remember, this is the bag I carried when I went to Jeffree Star's Yes. Launch party. Yeah, so much fun, so much fun. So, just when I want to say that little corner over there is really all my Chanel. Hello. <laughs> We're over here too. You got one down here. The Chanel fanny pack. Yes, <laughs> down here with all my Killian. Now this bag, it's not a Chanel. This is a Killian. Killian made these. They were one of a kind clutches. So when I hosted the Killian event at my home, which was right here, this was the invite people got. It looked like this when it got to them. They opened it. This was the invite coming to a Kill in Hennessy event at my home. You had to do a hundred dollar donation to be able to come to it. So it was an intimate evening with Killian. And so he literally sold perfumes at this event and I purchased this one of a kind clutch and they're all one of a kind. So you know that when you have one of these, no one else has one. There's the price, you see it? No one else has one that looks like yours. Yeah, that's a $3,000 clutch right here. One of a kind? One of a kind. No one else has one like this. So I love that little clutch. And then, if he, see, he even wrote on the box. Wow. So that's my little Chanel corner too. So just when you think that that's my only Chanel corner, sadly mistaken, <laughs> on this side, and I always say that I'm an Hermes girl because of my collection of Hermes, but yet, hell, I might have more Chanel than I have Hermes. <laughs> okay. But I'm, I just feel like I'm not that big of a Chanel fan. I like funky Chanel bags, but I, I have some of the really traditional ones just so that when you go to luncheons and it's a really dressed up, girly luncheon that you have the appropriate bags now these in here are rare more chanel <laughs> see chanel there chanel croc over here the red one and then look at this electric blue one woo, woo, looks like, oh it matches my nails today oh it does <laughs> can you tell it's my favorite color <laughs> favorite color yes yes so um, we're not paying attention to jewelry today. We're only doing purses. And so these are my Hermes. Um, I love my little Birkins. Like, look how so cute. cute. They're so cute, they're so cute. Love, 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 love. Even the umbrella. Mm-hmm. So cute. But anyways, of course I love my two big travel Birkins down here. I don't travel with them as much as I thought I was going to because they're so big. And by the time you fill them up, 
they're heavy. So <laughs> when you get spoiled and you have a roller bag like my Chanel and my Louis Vuitton upstairs, when you get spoiled with a roller bag that you don't have to carry, that it rolls through the airport, try lugging one of these bad boys. Oh, I, I made the mistake one time of filling it really full. My arm about died. <laughs> I'm going through the airport. <laughs> it was ridiculous, but I, I seriously, when I bought them, I thought I was going to travel more with them, but they're actually kind of too large, or I just put too much shit in it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I love, love, love my Birkins. Love, love, love. Then you get around this corner, and I've got a mixture of pretty much almost all Louis Vuitton, except for the Celine bags. I've only got five Celine bags, and they're right here. Um, today we filmed with a really pretty girl, and the first thing I noticed when she walked in the door was she had a beautiful black Celine. I'm like, hmm, good bag. <laughs> <laughs> then she gets in the closet and she's like, oh my God, we could be twins, you've got one too. <laughs> so, it's so cute, but yeah, so, I went through a Celine phase where I thought I needed them. They were hot for a moment. They were. Like they were like everywhere. Right, and and I still carry one periodically. I really like the tri colored ones. Oh, I love yes. the tri. They're really cool, the tri colored ones. But I I just I kind of am over them now. You know, it might be time to donate some of these <laughs> to some different charities, right? So um oh this this whole wall is almost all Louis Vuitton except for some Gucci. There's a couple YSL in here, but for the most part, oh, look at that backpack. I haven't even worn yet. Oh my God, I forgot about that backpack. Yeah. <laughs> I remember you showed it to me and you never used it yet. <laughs> I know, the other day I thought about pulling it out and taking it to the gym, but then you're like, oh, I'm gonna be dressed a bit too much for the gym <laughs> if I carry this backpack, right? I don't know, oh. I need to pull it out and carry it. You do need to. I really do. I really do. So anyways, um, my Supreme Collection, um, all Louis Vuitton, um, and then over here, I just have this little <laughs> four bags of Dior. That's it. <laughs> like, I once again, when I very first bought my little one here, I bought it in black, and I was like, oh, these are so cute. And then, I bought a couple more and then that, I was done with the door. I'm like, mm, okay. Mm. I mean, for the most part, you know, those two on the top, I feel like I'm an old lady when I'm carrying them. Right. Is that weird or what? No, it's kind of like, I guess they're okay to wear a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So Rich Lux and I have some of the same little purses here. And I just, I love Louis Vuitton. Like, look, I have never even worn this one yet. <gasps> oh, cute. What are you waiting for? I know. It's so cute. It's so freaking cute. I should be wearing it today. It kind of goes with it the outfit. Shows, it goes so good with this outfit. Hey, hey. <laughs> nice opportunity. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it goes with this outfit. I forgot. I'm wearing Louis Vuitton boots. Yes. My blouse. I should probably keep it out and wear it to dinner tonight. You should. Mm. So cute. Yes. And who has the big hat box? <laughs> Rich. Rich locks. <laughs> and he takes it everywhere. <laughs> and he carries that damn thing. And it's huge. It's huge. And I'm bitching that I got to carry this little one. Really? Really, guys? Really? Yeah. So, um, and then upstairs, we, we can't forget. I still have more upstairs. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. So, maybe you can follow me upstairs for a minute. Oh, did you see the cute little backpack? Mm -hmm. Oh, your backpack too. Mm -hmm. Do you ever use it? I've used it once. I was in LA and I went hiking. Mm -hmm. So it was the perfect thing to stick a bottle of water and <laughs> <laughs> I stuck a bottle of water, my cell phone in there, I think. Yeah. So up here, we have a few more up here. So you got Valentino up here. Love my Valentino. The story behind that middle one, the really pretty little tiny one. We were in Monte Carlo. <laughs> and you know, you know how my husband loves to gamble. So we're in Monte Carlo, we're gambling, he's gambling, I'm shopping. And I come back at one point and he's up like a lot, right? And so he's like, here, I want you to hold on to this for me for keepsakes. I don't want to like blow it all. No, no. I'm like, okay. Well, what did I do? 
I went and bought an Hervé's bag and I went and bought that little beautiful Valentino in the middle, the really shiny one. So later that night when he asked for his money back, I was like, well, when you asked me to hold it, I thought like I could like spend it. <laughs> I said, here's what your money bought me today. <laughs> oh so he God. has not allowed me to hold the money anymore because he knows if I'm going to hold the money. But I, I said, look it. It, I made an investment. They're worth more money now, right? That's true. I said, if, if you would have kept the money, you would have blew it, and we would be coming home with nothing. <laughs> I at least came home with two new bags, <laughs> right? So, and now we've got Prada, and we've got Fendi, and we've got a little Louis Vuitton. So the Louis Vuitton with the tail up there, the orange one, mm -hmm. and the Gucci crock over here, those are worth so much money. Like... <laughs> Those were true investments. Like, they're so old and, and they're like irreplaceable. Like, yeah. Wow. So excited. I, and they're, seriously, when I bought that orange one, my daughter was like, are you, have you lost your mind? And I'm like, I don't even know if I can reach it right now. And she said, have you lost your mind? And I'm like, no, why? And she says, that is so ugly. Like, when are you going to wear that? Oh my God, I'm curious now. I've never seen it. Oh, you're not, oh, you're kidding me. It's so old. Oh my God. What style is that even? Is this, I mean, I'm sorry, but I freaking fell in love with it. That's actually really dope. No, it's like the hottest thing. Like. <gasps> Actually, I should pull it out and start wearing it again. That is everything. Look at the detail. Uh-huh. No, I'm telling you, it's a collector's item. And my daughter was just like, ew, look at the tail. Look at, look, woo. You know where this would be hot? Where? Where? Coachella. <gasps> oh, my God. Ah, yes. This would, would be kill so it. cool. I think I could even make it longer. But, I mean, this thing would be so cool to take to Coachella, wouldn't it? That is oh. everything. Yeah. So, anyways, I can remember my, she, she saw these and she's like, ooh, that's so ugly. And I'm like, you can bitch and cry all you want that it's ugly, but it's a collector's item. Do you know so, what year was it? Oh my God, I've had it for so long. Wow. Dang, I wanna say 20 years. Wow. 18 years, 15, it's gotta be somewhere between 15 and 20 years. Um. So, but just on to this, uh, makeup, uh, totes, um, you know, Louis Vuitton, I've got Chanel, I've got suitcases, so, anyways, that, I mean, like, so my bag collection kind of comes out upstairs with me, too, you know, um, these are the ones that I don't wear as often, they're just, I don't have that big of collections and whatnot, so I just don't wear them that much, but, yeah, so guys, that kind of like gives you an idea of my purse collection. So just like that, we magically go from being upstairs to downstairs. <laughs> you know what I should do? I should put a slide in here. <laughs> That'll be fine. <laughs> or we could slide from the second floor. Third floor, second floor, first floor. Um, so anyways, I should put this purse back. Oh no, I should probably keep it out and take it to dinner. That would be cool. You should use it. I should. It looks so good with that outfit, I'm telling you. It does. I think it looks so cute with this. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've been able to see a little more of my purse collection. Oh my gosh, and so all, all down here too <laughs> are clutches. Of course, the very first clutch I ever, ever, ever bought when I was 19, still it stays in the dust bag. It never comes out. I treasure this immensely because it's the very first luxury item I ever, ever bought. And it reminds me every day where I've come from, how hard I've worked. And so it's just, it's just it's a sign. It just keeps me humble. Um, you got Louis Vuitton patent leather, Louis Vuitton, Valentino, some of these no names. They're just cute. Look at this. Oh my God, it looks like a little animal. Look at it. Oh my God, I love. <laughs> That's cool. Or that to the rodeo, right? Oh yes. Yes. That's so unique. cute. It's very unique, very unique. Definitely got to take that one to the rodeo when I go oh, Cardi B. Oh, yes. <laughs> I would. Oh, my gosh. So. This kind of looks like a cork. It is cork. Like made out of cork? Yeah. 
It's a Donald. <gasps> it's a Donald Pliner. Wow. Is that not cool or what? That's so cool. It's Donald Pliner, and uh, it's cork. Nice. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. And got some Tory Burch, another Donald Pliner, and I actually have shoes that match you this. You do. Remember? So this was a, a matching set that I bought, so that the clutch and the shoes went together. Some Tory Burch, got me a Chanel umbrella. Look at this funky bag. It's just a no-name, but I bought it when I was on an island because it's so lightweight and it can scrunch. So yeah. it's easily packable and you can like, I bought this when I was in Spain. Remember? Yeah, that one's cool. Yeah, and it's just so lightweight and it's a perfect beach bag, getaway, tropical vacation bag, you know, when you just gotta have a clutch to throw in to be able to take with you. It's just so cute. So cute. So, that pretty much wraps up my purse collection, guys. Got a little Chanel backpack I don't wear either. Oh my God. Like, look, <laughs> he just hangs over here by himself, <laughs> hanging out. Come on, Teresa. You me. Wear me one of these days. <laughs> so it's not that I have too many to wear. It's just that sometimes I'm in such a hurry to get out the door on an everyday basis that I just don't think to come in and grab a different purse all the time. Normally I'm grabbing different purses when I have an event or a special event or a special luncheon or a special dinner or something where I need to like just take something cute and little. So it's not that I'm too lazy to come in and get a bag and it's not that I have too many but it's just the fact that sometimes I'm just in a big ass hurry like to run to the gym or run to the store or run and you just forget to like go get in the closet and change out bags. So most of the time I just change them out whenever I've got special events to go to. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, but you're right. I, I need to just change out more often. What, what are you waiting for, Teresa? <laughs> <laughs> I got one tonight for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> it just kind of gives you an idea of my closet and my purse collections and how much I love them. Oh, here's one. We forgot to even show this one. So, oh my god, <laughs> that's, that's kind of like my biker. Baby. Nice. Yes, yes. So, with my little Hermes belt. I wish my waist belt? was that little. Yeah, it's a belt. It gets bigger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're like, damn, Teresa. When'd you get so skinny? <laughs> uh, no. But you wear it like around your waist. Nice. It's cute. I made it little so it sits on the shelf. <laughs> You're like, damn! I was like, it maybe be a choker. <laughs> How's your diet? Oh, that would be cute, wouldn't it? Yeah. How's your diet going? Good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, he was in LA. Mm -hmm. I haven't weighed myself in scared mm -hmm. too. I wonder if this would look good as a choker. I think it'd look dope. You think? Like a dog collar? Hell yeah. I wonder if you're gonna we... wear a collar, let it be Hermes. Huh? If you're gonna wear a collar, let it be Hermes. True. Okay, there. It's as little as it'll go. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, no. Probably looks like shit. Yeah, it doesn't, it needs to like, <laughs> it needs to be up here, right? They should make chokers like that. Maybe they do. Maybe I'll find it. Ooh. She'll be here next week. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa might be sporting one next week. In all colors. I'll call her maze at River Oaks District. Oh, uh, excuse me. See, I put it like that so it'll fit up there. So this is another cute bag, isn't this fun? That's so and it's, it's it's so squishy, it's so yummy, yeah. it's so cool. But it's just so... Da, 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 da. Love. So anyways guys, that's enough of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys comment below more things that you'd like to continue to see in the closet or see at my house or whatever. Um, just comment below what you'd like to continue to watch. I'm trying to pump them out as much as you guys want and as fast as you guys want. So until next time, bye bye.